when you start to grow, make sure you're still responding to every single comment. It's just like if, if a customer walked into your store, you had a retail store, you would help them. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Hello, today we are here with... Evan Carmichael. And uh, what's your channel? How many subscribers do you have? It's off my name, Evan Carmichael, and we're at 1.3 million. Awesome, congratulations. The first question I want to ask you then is, when did you have the YouTube light bulb moment? So, in one sense, it was almost right from the beginning because I was making videos for somebody else. Okay. In that somebody asked me a question and I would make a video response. Right. I never thought it would be YouTube famous, but I, I got a response back from that person saying, thank you so much for making a video. So somebody asked me a business question, I would make a response, put it up on YouTube, and it was geared just for them. And I thought, hey, I'll put it on YouTube in case somebody else has the same question. They could benefit from it as well. But it wasn't getting lots of views. That was just, I knew that the video I made helped that person. When I started being able to make some money from it, I figured, hmm, this could actually be a business model. And that's when I really started going hardcore on it. I built and sold a business. Right. When I was 22, I sold it. Yeah. I got asked to do a bunch of speaking around the world, okay. and I and then people would email me with their questions. Right. And I, see. and I would take time to respond to them all over email. Right. But it might take me 30 minutes to write this long email, and I thought, how about I make a video with my response yeah. instead of writing an email? Okay. Yeah. Because I would prefer to be on camera than to type. Mm -hmm. And I thought, hey, this might help one or two or 10 or 100 more people than just Absolutely. the one person, I'm, yeah. right? I wasn't thinking big at the time. It wasn't like I'm gonna be 1.3 million subscribers. It was just making a response just for that one person. Awesome, once you've uploaded a video, yeah. so you've got the, the creative aspects out of the way, yeah. what becomes the most important thing for you in terms of the video? Was it the title, the thumbnails, the descriptions? So thumbnail and title are super, 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 super important. Uh, we'll do some split testing, try to figure out which one is the best one. But after that's been uploaded, the next thing for me is just community, responding, responding. I believe you need to respond to every single comment. And that's easy when you're a small channel yeah. and people watching who have a small channel may say, oh yeah, I get 10 comments a day. I, I respond to every one of them. When you start to grow, make sure you're still responding to every single comment. And if it's not you, then it's someone on your team. It's just like if, if a customer walked into your store, you had a retail store, you would help them. But if your company grew a lot and you had lots of customers, you wouldn't be helping each person individually. You'd hire a team. Yeah. So I have someone on my team who does a lot of the community management, but I think everybody needs a response. So once we've uploaded, we've done thumbnail and title, it's like respond. Every every person who's a comment gets a response. Yeah. Uh, as a channel of 1.3 million subscribers, how many comments do you get on average a day then? To oh, respond hundreds. To? I don't know. Hundreds, yeah. hundreds, hundreds. Yeah. And, and my team responds to most of them and they'll put their own name at the end so they know it's not directly me but yeah. someone on the team uh they'll save the ones that i need to see any suggestions feedback improvement evan you suck at this great mm -hmm. that's what i want to see yeah. and the i love this video or can you do this now that's that goes to my team right it's awesome that somebody loves my video but i don't just see all those comments yeah what was the best youtube decision you've made the best youtube decision that i've made was still using it as a place to find aspirational mentors so I think the mindset shift is super important. I think, I think people play small by default. And so by watching videos of people who have done amazing things, Elon Musk or Oprah Winfrey or whoever it is, by watching them, they become my aspirational mentors. And I use that to help me be a better entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Follow up questions to that then. A lot of video creators often spend too much time creating videos and not researching themselves and using the YouTube experience for what it's there for like so do you spend as much time watching other people's content to uh, get ideas for videos so in terms of creating the content and picking you know what the topics are gonna be uh, I think everything has to be a mix of what you love and what the audience wants as well yeah if you're making only stuff that you love but nobody else cares about you have a hobby but you don't have a business that you're gonna be able to build something off of and if you're only chasing opportunities like I have an entrepreneur channel if slime videos are taking off and I try to chase a slime trend but I don't care about slime yeah. I'm not gonna win because the people who care about slime are gonna crush me so it always has to be that combination of what you love making with what there is an opportunity for I am I am master mayhem and I think that you're right and we should destroy the earth right now yes how many subscribers do you have oh uh well uh, whoa i'm coming pretty close to one trillion okay so impressive i mean how many do you have one trillion and one? Oh, oh, he's got oh to reach goodness 